this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a Facebook carousel post so you can generate more engagement and traction from your Facebook business page. Now, my name is Armando and I work with small business owners and entrepreneurs helping them use the internet so they can generate more leads and make more sales. And if that sounds like you, go ahead and click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future content. Now, before we dive right in, I want to tell you about my local lead mastery workshop. This is designed for small business owners who are looking for a step by step, easy to follow training that can help them generate leads with Facebook using lead ads this week. You can get that with the link in the description. It's perfect for service based and brick and mortar businesses. The very first thing that you're going to want to do is head on over to the Facebook Creator Studio. And if you've never used the Facebook Creator Studio before, you can get to it by going to business.facebook.com slash creator studio. And this is a nifty little tool that Facebook has that allows us to create a bunch of different posts, schedule them out, even post to Instagram if we wanted to from our desktop. Now, once you are in the Facebook Creator Studio, you're going to want to choose the page that you want to post your carousel to. Uh, in my case, I have tons because I manage a bunch of clients, but pick the one that corresponds to your business. If you only have one, then that's great. Just make sure you select that and click view. Once you do this, you're going to have a couple of options here. You can create a post using this big blue create a post button, or you can click this section here that says post something. Now, when you click on that, what's going to happen is that you're going to get a dialog box on the right hand side that's going to show you exactly sort of a post box. These are the options that Facebook used to have before they started to change things around. So a lot of these options, many people don't know, are still available within Creator Studio and Creator Hub to create ads. But in this case, we're just going to create a carousel post with no ads. Now from here, there are actually a couple of ways that you can create a carousel post. Method number one is to just simply paste a URL of a website that you want to go to or a um, the link of where you're going to be sending people once they click on your carousel. So for me, I'm going to type in uh, the URL of my local lead mastery workshop. And you, as you can see, it automatically picks up images from the website that I've got and it creates the carousel squares here. But let's just say that I do not want these squares and I want something else. All I'm going to do is uncheck the images that I do not want. And then I'm going to click on the square here and add my own carousel images. So if I want these two images on there, I'm just going to select them and click open. And that's going to take these images and put them um, as a carousel box for that post. Now, many people always ask how I create these kind of images and what the dimensions are. Well, the carousel images are actually a perfect square. The dimensions are 1080 by 1080. And for this kind of image, I actually use Canva.com to create them. Now, this is what's called a seamless carousel. So you can see one image blend into the next. I actually created a video that walks you through how to create these kind of uh, carousels if you, if you wish to. Now, from here, you've got everything that you need. All you need to do is give this a description and then just click share now. Now I'm going to show you a second way to actually do this. From the create a post dialog box that opens up, you can click on this button that says multimedia and that's actually going to let you choose a few more options. You can create an album, uh, you can create a carousel post, you can create a slideshow, you can even create one of those instant experiences. Now these are all organic posts, these are not ads. So for us, we're going to choose carousel and then we're going to enter the URL of the of the link to the ad or to the carousel that we want uh, to create. And it's going to do the exact same process that I showed you earlier. Now, if I wanted to add extra cards in here, all I'm doing is choosing the cards from my desktop and adding them here. If I want to remove cards uh, from the deck here, from the stack, all I'm doing is I am checking these and unclicking them so that these become available. Now, the other thing that you are allowed to do here is actually replace each carousel link with a unique link so you can have each card go to a specific section of your website. You can also replace the title of the card, which I highly, highly, highly recommend. So you can do that by just simply hovering over each card, clicking, clicking the title and replacing it with whatever it is that you want. And same thing with the link. You can click the destination link and you can send it to you know uh, anything you want that is actually a valid URL. From here, all you need to do is type in your description uh, of the post that you want and then just click share now to publish to your business page. Now, 
If this was super helpful, please consider subscribing and giving it a thumbs up. And again, if you're a small business owner and you have an offline business, you're looking for a way to make Facebook ads work, you're looking for a way to increase the number of leads so you can increase your sales, consider checking out the mini workshop that I've got listed below, or you can head on over to localleadmastery.com to check that out.